guys, welcome to my home away from home, The Shire. My name is Allie, and here in the mountains of Montana, my friends Steve and Chris hit a whimsical world straight out of the classic fantasy novel, The Hobbit. This underground dwelling and surrounding Shire will spark your imagination and wake your inner child. So come with me and explore this miniature magical world where fluttering fairies, wandering wizards, and hidden hide away. You won't believe your eyes. Now, before I show you the actual home, I'm gonna take you and show you some of the homes around the area. The first home we're gonna come to is Place. Now, he wasn't really in The Hobbit, but he was in The Lord of the Rings, the books that came after. He's not here, he's gone mushroom picking. There actually isn't a home inside, this is all a facade, but it makes you feel like you're part of a community. Originally, this was uh, set up to be a family guest house. Our carpenter's son said, boy, it looks like a hobbit house. And then it just went, I mean, a little explosion went off. This is a fun little home. It's the Troll Cave. Now, we don't like trolls around here. They're actually very scary, but they don't come out until you are safe. <laughs> here is a little fairy home. There are a lot of little fairies that live around here, and before you knock on their door, you actually have to ring a bell. No, you're coming. Not all of them open, but they're very unique. It might not look like it, but right now we are standing on top of the Hobbit house. All of the hobbits actually build their homes into the ground. So right now, if you look at this, this is completely covering, almost like a two. So now that we're actually inside the house, you can see just how big it is. It's built into the mountain. So you actually have a hill around you, but you don't feel like you're underground. We decided to go underground uh, for two reasons. One, for economy, because it always stays 55 degrees. And this past winter, at 20 below zero, and you walk inside, and it's 55 degrees. And the other reason was for safety. You could drive a, a Caterpillar tractor over the top of it, and it wouldn't budge. You really don't feel, don't feel claustrophobic, because it is vaulted ceilings. This is Gandalf's hat. You can see even here unique scenes from the book, scenes from the movie, just making you feel like you're really a part of the Hobbit world. Now this is a little room and it's probably for the Hobbits themselves. This would probably be a king size bed for a Hobbit because they're three and a half feet tall. Now I'm gonna take this little secret passageway, but I'll see you out there and you can see where it leads. Hey guys. A lot of people don't rest this area or they don't notice that it's an actual walkway up here. And what do we have here? This is actually a ring from The Hobbit. The whole thing is based around this ring and one of the cool things about it is it's here when you put it on. So let's see if it works. Did it work? Did you see me? It's a treat for us to come up here and to spend time here because we don't have a lot of the wonderful amenities that are here, our own home. So I showed you where the fairies live, I showed you where the hobbits live, showed you where I stay when I come up here, but now it's time for me to sit back and relax. Thanks for coming by.